Welcome back. Well, in the early years, customers arrived by horseback. Now, the Vermilion Restaurant in Brownsville is celebrating its 85th anniversary. And there are many more interesting stories to be told. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Comi Gente. This first photo is opening day 1934. And during those days, I can remember selling beer to guys on horseback that would ride their horses up here. Over the years, the restaurant has changed. Dan Davidson's father owned the Vermilion back then. But there's another story. Dan has now sold the Vermilion to one of his employees. But about 1980, George over here came on as a 13-year-old dishwasher. He was still in high school at the time. George Pettis, his story from dishwasher to owner. And then in 2016, he became the owner. I sold the place to him in, in, in 2016. It don't even seem it's been 39 years. It seems like, it seems like maybe five or 10 for me. So it's been my whole life. So this is home for me. Another story, Dan has asked if he could stay on at the restaurant. And besides that, with him being the owner, I no longer have headaches. It went from the fun part to the headache part now. And the big story, of course, today's big day. We are very honored to be celebrating this day, Vermilion Restaurant and Watering Hole's 85th anniversary. Tina has been The story of not forgetting your loyal employees. But there is still another story to be told. But while George may be the new owner, there is someone else who says they have seniority over George. Older, <laughs> wiser, I'm happy. It's this lady, George's mother. Yes, actually she worked before me. She's been here 50 something years now, you know, and she's still here. And now you're gonna be working for your son? Yes, well, I've been working for him for over three, two years now. But don't worry, I'm still his boss. So many stories to tell. But what about the food? Everything, everything on the menu is just delicious. <laughs> They're actually famous for their cheese nachos. I've been coming here since I was a little girl with my dad. A legendary place. We had about three tables, three tables, uh, and about 10 bar stools. And I plan to be here hopefully another 20, <laughs> hopefully. The Vermilion Restaurant and Watering Hole of Brownsville. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Con